Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. We welcome you once again to this evening program of Hope, organized by the Verbum TV. Today, as we reflect upon the family life of our brothers and sisters, and very especially about the, the sacrament of marriage, the reality and the relationship of uh, marriage, uh, we go to the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 4. Jesus answered, Haven't you read the scripture that says that in the beginning the Creator made people male and female? And God said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, and the two will become one. So they are no longer two, but one. Man must not separate then what God has joined together. As we reflect upon this passage, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to think about it uh, in terms of what is happening in our married life today, very especially in our local metropolitan areas, also in our rural areas. Uh, what's happening to marriage? Because it is not properly planned as a sacrament sometimes. Um, a few days or a few months after marriage, things become difficult. And we go to the extent of maybe separation or divorce. <coughs> this has become a, an issue of concern for us very specially uh, as we organize marriages as a sacrament that came from Jesus' words. So, when we go to think about a reason as to why people are so uh, tired of getting married, for example, or maybe even after marriage, they do not uh, find it easy to handle things easy in marriage. Uh, there could be many reasons for this, but one of them would be <coughs> that we have to learn that marriage is not something that takes place uh, overnight with uh, the first night or the second night, uh, as they say, or maybe during the honeymoon. It is not something that blossoms and develops during that only a short period of time. It is a, a relationship that goes till the end of the human life of the partners. So, it goes on and on and on from the time the wedding took place. There is a difference between wedding and marriage, as you know, my dear brothers and sisters. Wedding is a celebration of one day, maybe. But marriage is the relationship that is lifelong. So, we prepare our children for marriage and not for weddings. Sometimes, of course, more than for weddings. People are focused on preparing themselves for weddings and not for marriage to that extent. So, we have to first of all find the most important area and arena of married life. So, we have to prepare our children or children have to prepare themselves for marriage. Now here, what happens here is the, the, the period of marriage could be maybe broken down into various segments, say various phases, so to say. The first stage could be called the romantic period. During the romantic period, everything is going to be rosy and cozy. There is no dispute between the husband and wife or maybe between the lovers who are preparing for marriage because this period can start even before marriage during the courtship of the husband and wife, of the, of the boy and the girl. And then later on when they get married after commitment and then they continue with this. And the second period is a little difficult than the first one. First one was romantic, delightful, joyful, but the second one is difficult with, with defects sometimes or maybe the partners finding the other partners defects. And that is a, a difficult period and this is called the period of disillusionment and disappointment. Because the first period is as if that people, uh, of course, there is no problem because people want to attract the other. The partners want to attract each other. And in terms of attracting each other, they kind of wear a mask on them, on their face. The mask looks pretty and pleasurable and presentable to the other one. And later on, what happens is when the, the purpose is fulfilled, when the other person is won over, when the other partner is won over, then they come to the real state. 
when they come to the real state then their mask is torn when the mask is torn they see the real face they show the real face now the real face is difficult for the other partner to accept most of the time because it was not the face that earlier this partner was showing uh, showing up it was it was a delightful time because that time it was not something uh, with self consciousness but here it is full of self consciousness i and my world what i want in married life was the focus is the focus of my life here during the second stage and then i find my partner also thinking the same way i find it difficult to get things done so easily as much as i did in the first previous period now i see difficulties taking place my partner wants to do things his way or her way and i of course want to do things my way because we learn from what the from our family of origin what our world is going to be my world is what it is from what i have learned from my childhood in my family and his world is different but i do not want to accept his world because my world is everything for me during the second period and therefore whatever he behaves however he behaves becomes a defect for me if he for example has coffee in the morning and i have coffee in the evening i'm uh, sorry if he if he has coffee in the morning and if i have coffee or tea in the morning tea is the best thing tea is the drink for me in the morning coffee is not the drink so when he drink, drinks coffee in the morning it becomes a defect for me he is having some defect he drinks coffee in the morning not tea tea is one what a, a person drinks in the morning yeah i mean i make my behavior the I, and i generalize it this is what people do and that happens a kind of a psychological uh, uh, makes a, an impact psychologically in me and it it becomes a cause for me to reject my partner and my partner might for example have you know rice uh, over boiled and uh, when he sees me having rice not that boiled not that over boiled then oh this is not the way people eat rice we have to eat rice fully boiled right so i have learned eating my rice the way i have been learning from my 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 childhood from my family of origin and he from his family of origin but he thinks that is the way this is not the way so likewise we have differences which we count as defects during the second period and therefore we fall into difficulties and then we see we are not able to fulfill our needs from because earlier period it was an automatic fulfillment of needs now we do not have that area automatic fulfillment does not take place we have to make effort to get things fulfilled even then we will not be able to fulfill sometimes to the full extent and therefore we think that this period is a defect defectful period we are deceived we might think because this person is not the person who was earlier we think the earlier period although it was romantic we thought we think that that was the period of marriage this is that means the marriage has gone into some difficulty he has he has been found, diagnosed with some difficulty some defects and therefore it has to be treated he has to be treated or she has to be treated so marriage becomes difficult here and it is during this time this period of married life my dear brothers and sisters that most of the divorces and separations take place in our families so therefore we got to be mindful about it and we also have the third period of married life where we recognize that these defects were not defects but they are differences he comes from a different family and i come from a different family and therefore it is easy for us to put up put up with each other in spite of the difficulties in in spite of the in 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 spite of the differences because we recognize them as differences now and not as defects and then we are able to accept one another and we focus on a commonality of married life we might have children and we focus on our children we it is not i or you it is we now and then we go move on to the fourth stage which is integration and modulation a period of integration and modulation is we integrate our concerns together he from his family of origin and i from my family of origin bring our own concerns and put them together integrate them and modulate them and then we find our commonalities celebrated 
he also had because all this time we had been looking at the difficulties or the differences now we are looking at the commonalities and we are celebrating them this way we move towards the mature married life and therefore one of the reasons my dear brothers and sisters that we fail or fall or falter in our married relation marriage relationship is that we do not have that awareness of the fullness of marriage relationship we just take only one part and we think that uh, look at the smaller picture of it and we think that is everything and we come to drastic decisions of life let us hope for the future if there is a difficulty in the present life let us hope that it is this is going to pass in the future and goodness is going to come about because we are going through these challenges and difficulties with a firm faith that the lord is in control he is going to take care of us he is going to take care of our married relationship he is going to put our life together he is going to work our redemption in our marriage relationship let us give praise to god let us give glory to god and trust in his redemptive plan of salvation even in our married relationship marital relationship let me wish you all a very blessed married life and a happy family life my dear brothers and sisters god bless you all